In the previous part I mentioned that you should always use uh, strict and use warnings uh, no matter what in your uh, code, even if you're writing really really small uh, script. I didn't explain why and I'm going to give a couple of uh, words here, though the really good examples I can show only later when they start to make sense. So for now, just remember that use strict and use warnings are sort of compiler flags that make Perl uh, be more strict. Uh, require actually three strings. Uh, one of them is that you have to declare all of your variables. Uh, and the use warnings uh, is another sort of compiler flag that will give you all kind of warnings if you do something that's not really uh, good. The, the whole thing is that originally, 20 something years ago when Perl was uh, first released, Perl was very much like a shell script and it was very flexible, you didn't have to declare variables, you could do all kind of uh, things and it was just work. And that's nice uh, as a introduction to, to an introductory tool for some people who have used uh, shell, so it's very si Unix shell, so it's very similar to very uh, flexible, very um, forgiving for them. But uh, once you start to write uh, larger scripts, larger applications, then it's uh, it more of a problem because it uh, you can write all kind of uh, can go create all kind of problems, uh, but use strict and use warnings would stop you doing that. So basically, use strict and use warnings. Both of them will help help you avoid various common problems and uh, various re really stupid uh, issues that you you might do uh, as all of the programmers do uh, for example typos in variable names and things like this so i would put every in every script and every file in perl these too and uh, though they limit some some way your use of perl but at some point when you do need those extra super features that uh, these uh, limit then i'll explain how to use them how to turn off these things for that specific uh, place. When you do this, uh, you will get all kind of uh, error messages, which are usually one line long, uh, not always uh, clear for beginners. So there is another tool uh, you can add also use diagnostics, and this is one, something that I would only only recommend adding in your during your development. So I would comment it out or remove it totally uh, once you have finished your uh, script and uh, you want to deploy it. Use diagnostics will just give a lot more detailed explanation what the problem is. And then you have to read it obviously and understand what the issue is. Now I have to warn you that it's not always really clear uh, while it's always exact what it's saying, uh, but uh, sometimes it's not that clear for beginners and we'll see later on when we encounter these issues, we'll see and uh, explain what uh, the text actually means and uh, what's uh, in there for us uh, at this level. So thank you and I'll uh, see you in your next chapter.